Hi, I'm Lisa Bauer, and you are watching Dirty Dog Live Music. We are here with the Electricons. Um, would you guys please introduce yourselves? Well, I'm Rick Offit. I play keyboards and do a lot of lead vocals. Bruce Williamson, guitar. Jeff Pierce, bass, vocals. George Stabile, drummer. And where are you guys from? Grove mm -hmm. City, Slipper Rock. Um, Western Pennsylvania. Yeah. Western PA, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm living right here in Meadville. In Meadville. In Meadville. I've known George for quite a while. I've seen you play with different bands and, and stuff, play the drums, so I'm quite familiar with you. But you guys I don't know too well, so um, I understand you're the writer of most of the music that we're going to hear tonight. Yeah, um, I, we've been doing this for a long time. George and Bruce and I have actually been playing together for over 20 years, and uh, over that same period of time we've managed to put two CDs together and um, Rick joined the band last year we felt we needed a little extra punch and Rick brought some nice vocals and, and keyboards and um, yeah I mean the music evolves and we, we, we try to keep it moving so what kind of music do you play mostly well it's it's rock it's rock music I think it's, it's pop flavors you know power power pop if you if you want to find a but we have a lot of different influences, yeah. I mean, we, you know, Bruce and I go back to the 60s guitar bands, and, uh, you know, Rick and has... I do, too. <laughs> We're all up in that range where right. we... Uh, yeah, so, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's a pretty diverse mix, but, but it comes out as electrical music. That's, that's what it is, so... Well, I've heard you before, and I, I know it sounds real good, and I've very much enjoyed some of your songs. Um, can you tell us anything about your influences and... Well, uh, George, you, you like hot showers in the morning, don't you? I, well, when I get them, I like them, yeah. There you go. Uh, Very influential. Yeah. Well, uh, you were talking about the 60s. I just yeah, wondered if British you had any particular... invasion type things. Yeah. Jeff Beck's one of our favorite guitarists, I think. Yeah. Uh, Rock-oriented yeah. things like that. I'm surprised you didn't just jump right out with The Who, because that oh. would be... <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite band, The Who, but, uh, you know, everybody has... Steely Dan's my favorite yeah, band. So. Yeah, Steely Bruce? Dan. I don't think that we uh, really actually sound like anybody. No, but we picked but up we, what we You know, we're influenced everybody. by everybody. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, I find that... It's eclectic. Yeah, to use 40 the, years of playing rock and roll, you play a lot of different people's music. Do you play in our area a lot, or, or do you play well, a lot area? would be an overstatement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we don't go out. We've been getting out more, uh, five or six times this year. Uh, we play some uh, some outdoor concerts, and uh, we've done a couple stage shows, um, a couple bars. You know, uh, we opened for uh, Puba, big band out of uh, Youngstown, another another old vintage band, and we got to know some some folks over in the Youngstown area through Bruce. Bruce played in a, in a band back in the 70s and, and got to know some of those folks. So we go over there and do their, their festival every year. So, uh -huh. you know, we're, we're, we're starting to trot it out a little bit, working on a third CD. Uh, so yeah, you know, we're... Can you tell me the songs we're going to hear tonight? Um, let me think. Number one was Pancake. going to be Pancake, Pancake Day. Day. Yes, Pancake Day. Pancake yes, Day. Pancake Day. <laughs> Pancake Day. Uh, that's one of our favorite songs. Okay. Uh, of course, it's about Pancake Days, you know, sausage and pancakes for voting days. Okay. And, and then another well, uh, called Land of Dreams, which is about uh, an appliance repairman that we all know. His name is Joe Landa. And, uh, we, we, so he's a real person. And he's a real person, and, and he's the guy. He was that, a rock and roller that turned uh, into an appliance repairman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and he's got some great stories uh, about drinking bourbon and, and chasing go-go girls down at Mancini's uh, when he was a kid. It's just just good stuff. You know? So we we thought he deserved it. Well, so you wrote a song about yeah. him. Yeah. He ended up at both Bruce's house and <laughs> Jeff's house fixing appliances and telling the same stories. Ah. That was it. And it was just a coincidence. And I said, you won't believe this guy came over. And we started sharing these, you know, stories. And I said, let's let's give Joe a song. And we, we did one for <laughs> him. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So we did. And he loves it, by the way. Okay. We, we gave him a copy. And it, in fact, his son lives in town in Slipper Rock. Uh, so we gave his whole family. He has copies now, too. So, yeah. Um, we're doing a song called Suppressed, which uh, kind of goes into... Our religious influences, in a way. Okay, is this also a song written by you, or? Yeah, yeah, it's 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 about the way he introduces it. You know what what happens when you get a little close with uh, your favorite squeeze, and you start thinking about it, 
all those things a preacher said, you know. <laughs> all that stuff you learned in Sunday school. Yeah, uh, yeah. kind of suppresses the uh, the drive a little bit. So we not nearly enough. No, no. <laughs> oh, like, thank goodness. Like a break on a train. <laughs> like a break on a train. Yeah, yeah something like that. Fantastic. Yeah. And then, uh, and then we're we're doing uh, Jungle Judy, which is a song about uh, the uh, Steinheiser family in uh, West Sunbury. <laughs> and, uh, you guys are laughing. I hadn't heard this before. I hope they. I hope they're not watching. I well, uh, Vix Vix passed on, but, but Judy Judy is still. Uh, I don't know. It, it's called Jungle Judy. She was a waitress, and they uh, they did moonshine back in the hills. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That'd be real part of our Appalachian roots. Hmm. And they did a good job too. It was good moonshine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so. real excited to hear you guys play. You ready to go do it? You betcha. Okay, let's yeah. go. All right, thanks. Here's a song that celebrates the mundanity of life. One, two, three, four. Just grinding along, both days and nights. Breathing regular, I feel all right. Got a mindless job. for most of the people who choose it as a career. So, by and large, most guys wind up having to get a good day job somewhere along the line. Here's a story about one of them. Ready? One, two, three, four. He's the best around when something needs fixed. Got all the tools and he works real quick But what you get with appliance repair Is the story of you 
with a rock and roll flair. He takes it apart when the Lord is gone. He likes his glass, likes it with four bun. While he twists the nut with his craftsman wrench. He talks about Sears and where Elvis went. He had Harley and Fender and Go, go, girl. What's his world? It's a land of dreams and I wanna go on back to my teens to be just like Joe.
Here's a math lesson from the electricons. people that spend way too much time looking in the mirror. It's called Lifter. One, two, three, four. He likes himself a lot Standing in the mirror Better than he thought What a little tear There was nothing on this guy, little. The fact he did devolve lifted, lifter, picking it up, putting it down, bumping it up, looking around, lifted, lifter.
glistens in the night The trophies or the spoils He can't be wrapped too tight You guys were good. So uh, I, I very much enjoyed those songs. I'm glad that you told me a little bit about them beforehand so that Thank I could you. get a grip on what was going on there. Um, very interesting. Uh, can you tell people where they can find you? How can they find you if they would like to have you play? Or? Well, we have a website. Uh, that's simple enough to find. It's uh, www.electracons.com. Okay. Uh, Spell that out. I, I can't spell it. I think that's I think the mistake they're going everybody to... makes. I, yeah, it's E L E C T R A C O N S. Electrocons. Okay. And that's that's our website. Electrocons. And T R A. Can you, can you tell me how did you get that Cross. name? How did that name come about? <laughs> how how we get the name? Go ahead, tell. Oh, um, I believe uh, my son said something about leprechauns. <laughs> and, it and he called them Electricons. And I, I, I thought, hmm, that's not too that's bad. A, that's a good name. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just kind of became Electricons. Yeah. Of course, we have a Facebook page also, so friend mm -hmm. us and, and uh, we'll post gigs, upcoming jobs, and all that sort of thing on our website and okay, on the Facebook fantastic. page. So. Two CDs out. Uh, we have clips on the, on the website. Uh, the first one was called Hand Buzzer, 2002. The second one's called Ants in Your Pants. Uh, that was 2008. <laughs> and uh, 
Yeah. I like the 60s humor. If you go to the website, <laughs> you'll get directed to CD Baby. Oh, yeah, plug, that's right. Plug, plug, plug. CD yeah. Baby, that's, that's right. They are available online. Yes. Fantastic. Yes. So, yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having I'm us. I'm sure I'll see you guys out again and, and look forward We're to it. We're happy to be a part of this. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate yeah. being invited to do it. Absolutely. Thanks again. Okay.